I have no time to sit. He's Mario. Professional. I think I should inform him about the sad news. Listen, Mario. Father Christophero. Oh, I know what happened to him. I couldn't believe it. Were you able to talk to him before he... Not as I planned. I'm really sorry for your friend. I, I, I feel so powerless when something like this happens. That's not true. Nobody is powerless if he's willing to help. Uh, we can always pray, right? Yes, we can pray. And maybe we can try to do other things, too. You know I'm ready to help any way you want, Doc. Thank you so much, Mario. Three, seven, nine, five. It could refer to anything. In God's name. I know this book very well. It's a long essay written by David Yallop, an English writer who investigated the death of Pope Giovanni I. Among other things, the book concentrates on some shady business dealings involving the IOR, the Vatican Bank, plus the relationships between members of the Holy See and the Freemasons, various banks, and Roman organized crime in the 70s and 80s. A sad page in church history. But why did Cristoforo take a copy of the book with him? This is a picture of Saint Alexis Falconieri. I'll take them all. I think I should know more about them. Their position in the book could not be accidental, so I'll also remember the pages. These are the bookmarks I found in Cristoforo's book. Yes. I'll search for the days when the bookmarked saints are celebrated. Done. I should have the information I need. I'll put the bookmarks back in place. Saint Alexis Falconieri, celebrated on the 17th of February. Yes, the holy picture shows this word. St. James the Apostle, celebrated on May 3rd. This should be the word indicated. St. Joseph, celebrated on March 19th. This should be the right word. St. John of Nepomuk, celebrated on January 5th. Hmm. Yes, it should be this one. St. Stanislaus of Shepano, celebrated on April 11th. I think this is the right word. The words I circled form the name of a bank. Cooperative Credit Bank of Ostia. Maybe this is a clue or some kind of note from Cristoforo, but it's my only lead.
the Cooperative Credit Bank of Austria. It seems like a collection of prayers. I'm not used to stealing. Fund proposals, financial investigations, graphics. Is there anything more boring? I'm not interested in these. Transparency and trust. A bank for everyone. To be honest, I don't trust it that much. She's an old lady with bright eyes. Hello. Oh, hello. God listens to my prayers. What? Well, as soon as I saw you coming in, I prayed that you'd come over and talk to me. Really? Why? You know, a handsome guy like you arriving right here? Well, yeah. Actually, I'm here because... You are really broad-shouldered. Do you work out at the gym? Well, sometimes I swim a couple of lengths. And your accent is very unusual. You're not from here, right? No. I'm American. Ah, American. Yes, finally I found a handsome and rich man. Ooh. Come on, don't be upset, young man. I think you misunderstood me. Do you see the girl behind the front desk? She's my daughter. I hope you understand. It's just that I'd really like to be a grandmother. She's over 30 now, so... I think that everything I say can and will be used against me. By the way, Paula, hurry up. There is a nice guy waiting here. I'm going as fast as I can, Mom. Youth of today. They do not realize they should not miss the boat. So... The employee is your daughter? Oh, it's so nice of you to show how much you care. Don't you think so, honey? Isn't he sweet? Mom, please, I'm working. Ha! I can't believe it. How long has she been working here? Oh, not long. She took the place of my poor husband. You can ask her for any information. She's really good at her job. I mean... She doesn't do anything else, you see. That includes her non-existent social life. Well, I suppose everyone has their own priorities. But she's wasting the best years of her life, right? At that age, I wasn't like her at all. When I was her age, Antonio and I, well, my husband and I, used to take the car and go to that dark street where all couples go. And then, <laughs> how many back seats were ruined in those days? Mom! Oh, come on. He's a young man, right? Tell me who didn't do these things as a young person. And you should do them too, my dear. By the way, young man. Hmm. Did you come here by car? No, not at all. I, uh... I always use public transport. I'm sorry about your husband. Thank you. Uh, he was a good man. When he kept away from Pepperanata, I mean. You said that he worked here? Yes. My Antonio was employed by this bank. They accepted his early retirement application so our daughter could take his place. Was he sick? No. I would say he was only very, very tired. He was the only one working in the family, you know. At the beginning, it wasn't easy at all. When he retired, he was under a lot of pressure at work. And I think he also lost interest in what he did. You know what I mean? Why is that? I've never understood the reason. But I'm pretty sure it was not the most exciting job in the world. I'm sorry, we haven't introduced ourselves yet. My name is James. 
Oh, what a nice name. Very American. I am Anna. Anna Marano. You know, I took my husband's surname. I haven't used my maiden name since I got married. After all, I think it's right, don't you? A woman honors her husband's name while his duty is to work to maintain and protect his family. I have the feeling she's trying to tell me something. Please, Mom, don't torture people. Oh, why don't you hush up, baby? Your role in this world is to marry and procreate. This is the destiny of all women. This is the ordained scheme of things. Got it. I've entered a space-time rip, and this is the Middle Ages. I know what you're thinking, James. Maybe I seem like an old-fashioned woman. But you see, after what happened to my Antonio, we have been alone. And so I have nothing left to do but take care of Paula. This is why I always come here to bring her lunch. If I don't take care of that, I mean, don't you think she is pale? And how can she find a man if she doesn't put on some weight in the right places? Please, Mom, I can take care of myself. You need me, dear. Believe me. And you also need the direct help of the Almighty. Uh... Really? Of course. I'm usually here during the day, and say some prayers I found in this book. I ask God to send my baby a good-looking man that will break the monotony of her boring life. And you know what? God really exists. Wow. I must say, this is... Well, a strange reason to have such confidence. Obviously, you underestimate yourself, young man. I have to go. See you later. Hope to see you soon, young man. There's a customer in line. I should wait my turn. It's not appropriate to bother him. She's Paola, the daughter of the doting Mrs. Morano. Hello. Here we are. Please forgive me if I made you wait. Wonderful! James and Paola are becoming friends. And forgive my mother. Oh, I think your mother is amazing. You should never encourage her. You must accept the situation, my dear. Everybody likes me. You've been very tolerant. Thank you so much. Well? So, what's all this formality? Why don't you call each other by your first names? I... would be very pleased to do that. As I said before, you're very tolerant, James. So, are you here to open a bank account? Actually, I'm here on the advice of a friend, so I would only like to ask you some information. Go on. No offense, but I didn't even know this bank existed. That's quite normal. The Cooperative Credit Bank of Austria is a low-profile institute, and it has no other branch apart from this one. I see. This is something we consider an advantage, as we're really a family bank. Even the staff is just like family. Often children take the place of their parents. Look at me. So you're completely autonomous? Generally, yes. Sometimes we receive help, but just in specific situations. What kind of situations? Funds for works of charity, for example. So, you're carrying on your father's work? Exactly. And how do you like it? Not bad. I can't complain. Although I need permission just to go to the restroom, and it's all so boring. <laughs> I can understand that. Listen, my mother likes you, so I'll be honest with you. This job was nothing more than a replacement opportunity. What do you mean? My father asked for early retirement for health reasons. At that time, I was unemployed, and so... But you stayed here. Yeah, he wasn't happy at all that I took his place. But his pension wasn't enough, and we needed someone in the family to work. I stayed only because I couldn't find anything else. You know, the crisis. 
Why did your father not want you to work here? I don't know. In his last days, he seemed to develop a sort of intolerance towards this place. But probably he only wanted the best for me, like all parents do, I suppose. Antonio Morano wanted to keep his daughter far from this bank for some reason. I don't think Paola knows the real reason. Dear Dad, if he knew I was still here... Don't worry. I'm sure you're doing your very best to make him proud. Oh, James, you're so sweet. Mom, we're trying to talk. Would you mind? It's not my fault that you speak so loud. You mentioned this bank receives funds for works of charity. Yes, we receive support for that kind of financing. From who? From the Istituto per le Opere di Religione, the Vatican Bank, as many call it. Is this place connected to the IOR? No, not exactly, but sometimes it supports our institute for this kind of business. We've got a little office that takes care of this. I see. I understand that for a little bank like this one, the IOR may seem like a very big deal. I read about the IOR in the book Cristoforo left down at the guest house. So Cristoforo was investigating here. This must be the right lead. The problem is that without his help, this lead could have already reached the end of the line. Thanks for helping me. My pleasure, James. It seems like a collection of prayers. I'm not used to stealing. Mrs. Morano. Oh, James, I beg your pardon. For what? Well, you see, just by chance I overheard your conversation with my good ear. By chance? And a small detail came to mind. Recently, a man came to my house asking the same questions as yours. You know, about my husband, his job, and the bank? A tall man, very kind, and wearing a black suit. Not so different from you, James. Cristoforo. It's just that... Well, how to explain? He didn't have your charm, my dear. What did you talk about? Well, of course I immediately asked him if he was married. You know, for my daughter. But guess what? He said he was a priest. What bad luck! Hey, wait a minute. You... Aren't a... No, I'm not a priest. I'm starting to consider writing it on my shirt. Oh well, it's not so important. You're American, right? And priests can get married in America. Not every priest. Marriage is permitted only to Anglican priests, for example. Angla what? Oh, I don't understand all these religions at all. Such as the one with that fat god, always seated. Anglican religion is just a form of Christianity. Just like Catholicism. Oh, really? I don't know. Never heard of it. And Buddha is not a god. But I think it's better to get out of this vortex. Mrs. Murano. Oh yes, sorry. So this fellow was particularly interested in an old book of my Antonio's. I don't know what was written in it. It was too boring for me to read. But near the end, I saw my husband writing a lot of things in it. Things about work, I suppose. Is it possible to see it? I haven't got it anymore. You see, the priest insisted that I lend him the book for a few days. I didn't feel like giving him something that belonged to my dear Antonio. But he practically begged me. And he offered me something in exchange. What was that? That book of prayers you see on the table over there. So that is Cristoforo's book. I couldn't refuse the exchange, you understand. It would have been just like, I don't know, refusing a gift sent directly by the Lord. And believe me, it's better if he's not angry with me, especially at this time. Moreover, the priest told me the book was very, very important to him. Did he explain why? Yes, and that's the strangest thing. You see, he said the Book of Prayers was given to him by one of his American friends, a priest called James. Hmm. 
I'm pretty sure I never gave that book to Christophero. What a fool that I didn't understand before. You are American, right? And your name is James. So it's either an incredible coincidence, or... I know that man. Exactly! Mrs. Murano, it's very important for me to have a look at that book of prayers. Well... Is there any problem? Listen, James. You're a nice guy, and I'm sure you're perfect for my daughter. <laughs> Thank you. I think. But I'm very protective of my personal things, especially those that allow me to ask favors of God. Is she talking about prayers? But even apart from that, don't you think it's strange that you'd like to take back a gift you gave to a friend? Yeah, it's just... It's a long story that Christophero has invented, and I need to understand why. I have no proof that you're the same James, the one the priest talked about. Do you understand me? But I told you I know him. We're old friends. His name is Christophero. Mm, I don't remember his name. Anyway, it could be a coincidence. I believe in coincidences, you know. Like the fact that the name of my neighbor's daughter is Anna, just like me. Isn't it incredible? It's a small world. The James he was talking about was a priest, like him. But you told me before you're not a priest. As a matter of fact, I was a priest. Okay then, call him so I can be sure you're friends. I can't. Christophero had an accident. Now he's in the hospital. Oh, that kind man. I'm really sorry to hear that. I'd hope his condition is not serious. Well, let's do it this way. Convince me you were a priest. I am sure you have something that can prove it, right? Mm. I don't know what to show her. Here's my Bible. How many people do you know with a Bible in their pocket? And how many people do I know with a book of prayers in their pocket? Mm. Please, Anna. I really need that book. All right, then. But don't take it away with you, okay? And when you're finished, please remember, you owe me a favor. Okay. Thank you so much. That was a pretty big Bible. <laughs> it seems like a collection of prayers. Now that I have permission... It's signed James, but it's in Christophero's handwriting. What did he want to tell me? I should write it down in the notepad. I've already written this inscription down in my notepad. I can't do this with my bare hands. It seems there's something under there. It seems there's a coin, or something like a small metal. It's a small medal with the picture of a saint. There's a Latin inscription on the back. I can't leave with Mrs. Murano's book. Here's your book. James. Well, time to go then. Thanks again for your help. 
Wait a minute, young man. You owe me a favor, don't you remember? Um... Yeah. Right. Sorry. What's it about? I'm guessing either wedding bells or sugared almonds. You must promise a date to my daughter. No kidding! Well... Um... Uh... Come on! I helped you! Have you forgotten? Yeah... Okay... Don't say anything. I heard you, dear. I... Miss Murano... Paola. Paola... I... think that... We'll see each other again. It's a start. Thank you so much, young man. Bye bye I've got nothing else to ask her. She's Paula. The do She's my... I have nothing to ask her. She's the nun managing the residence. Judging by the way the sister's trying to hide it, I bet it's not holy water. I don't think the nun would allow me to take it. Hello, sister. God bless you for your help. I don't know what I would have done without you. I wish I could have done more. Just my luck. It had to be today when I'm all alone. Can you promise not to tell anyone about this? Don't worry. I'm neither a journalist nor a big mouth. So what are you? Wait a minute. If it wasn't for the way you're dressed and your accent, I'd say you're one of us. I left the priesthood many years ago. Now I'm a doctor. Oh, that's why. A doctor. In fact, it seemed to me before, with your friend on the floor, you were at ease. I'm much more at ease when my friends stand on their feet, actually. Oh, sorry. I said a stupid thing, didn't I? Never mind. We're all a bit shocked. 